Hey friends, my name is Osama. This video is a holiday special where I go through some of the top gift ideas for your family, friends, or coworkers that have a background in nuclear engineering or are working in the nuclear industry. And in this video, I'll be breaking down these gifts into various categories. Uh, there's a unique gift for everyone. So the categories include number one, my favorite books. So these aren't your regular textbooks. These are really fun to read, engaging books. that are also informative. Uh, also decorative pieces. So pieces of decoration for your home. Uh, there's also clothing, some sort of swag uh, for the new year to keep you uh, nice and warm during this winter. And also lastly, gifts that make your work more productive and fun. Before recording this video, I put up a poll on my Instagram asking for gift ideas to just to get some festive inspiration from all the friends and followers that I have on Instagram. And I got some really, really great ideas. So a lot of the ideas that are in this video are from my Instagram poll. So, so let's start off with the video. I'll start off this video with some gifts that make work more productive and fun. I know the last thing you want to think about on your holiday breaks is work, but I think when you're back in the new year, uh, these gifts will really help you out. Uh, number one, I would say is the Pocket Engineer by Gen Genius Lab Gear. It's a very budget friendly gift, uh, only $18 Canadian. Uh, thanks Megan on Instagram uh, for suggesting this great idea. She got it for her as a graduation gift and it's, it's really been helpful for her. So I think this is great for both uh, nuclear engineering students and also if you're in a very technical role like design engineering. Uh, what I love about this card is that the front side has a protractor, metric ruler, conversion ratios for inches. By the way, this card can fit into your wallet. And the edge is basically a flathead screwdriver. Uh, on the back side, there's a total of 26 unit conversion ratios, 10 physical constants, seven essential equations. It's great for engineers who are just doing calculations, need a quick reference. Uh, although it doesn't have all the constants you'll need, uh, especially when you're on the job. Also when you're doing nuclear uh, reactor physics calculations, uh, but it's something really handy to keep in your pocket in terms of being on a, in a remote location or you need access to these quick constants, just pull this out and you can, you, you know, bada boom, bada bang, it's right there. It's also super affordable. It's only $18 and uh, a bit cheaper in Canada. If you get it from the actual website, you'll avoid some of these shipping costs. Uh, I bought this for my brother's birthday uh, just because he's entering a very technical role and I thought this would be a really cool gift idea for him. Uh, they claim that it's very good quality, so uh, let's see how it is. Uh, so that's number one on my list. Number two on my list is a very versatile watch. So it's a Swiss radiation detector watch. It's it's a bit pricey. It's the most expensive item on this list, but it's around eight hundred eighty dollars USD. But for for what it is, it's it's a steal. It's a really high quality watch. Uh, looks really nice. But what it does is it measures ambient gamma radiation dose and also dose rates. So it also has features like storage of data and which you can use to transfer this data to your PC and evaluate this data. Uh, who would I recommend this for? So folks that are working on site. So if you're working on site in a nuclear facility, this is great to have on hand. Although you'll have your other radiation detection gear, but this is just something that looks really nice. It's on hand. Uh, frequent flyers. So, you know, if you're flying across the world uh, very frequently and uh, want to understand how much radiation dose you're picking up while you're in a plane, because as you fly at higher altitudes, you're picking up radiation dose. This is great to have. You'll be surprised how high they are, right? Uh, so in terms of the battery, it lasts around 18 months, which is pretty good, around a year for, for what it does. Uh, and in terms of working conditions, it's pretty robust. It can handle, uh, it's waterproof, depth to 100 meters. It's also can handle temperatures up to 45 degrees. It's a pretty robust watch. It looks really nice. It's very versatile. So I, I would say that this is something definitely to add to your list, which would make work a lot more productive and fun. Number three on my list is ultra soft foam earplugs. So these are very high quality earplugs. They're a little bit different from some of the regular earplugs that you'll find, conventional earplugs. These are extremely high quality. They're high density. 60 pairs come for $17. It's a steal to be honest. And this company Empower just makes these earplugs super comfortable. You know, you can wear these for hours on end in the in, in the plant. So these don't irritate your ears, super high quality. What I love about these earplugs is that they also come with this handy keychain uh, item. Okay, so what you do is you can just load them up with a pair of your earplugs. Okay, it also has a waterproof gasket, which is great because you don't want your earplugs to get wet or dirty. I'll, I have these at all times. This is great for travel as well, by the way. I always keep a box of this with me when I'm traveling and it's great because you know you can get a good night's sleep. So overall, 
really good budget. Gift idea, 17 bucks, ultra foam earplugs. All right, so let's jump into my favorite part of this video, which is book recommendations. I love books, not only receiving books as gifts, but also giving books as gifts. They're super informative. Uh, they have great storylines and the books that I'll be sharing here are not your regular textbooks, but rather uh, books that are really, will really bring you value and kind of open up your horizons to the rest of the world in terms of nuclear science and technology as well. So, and honestly, these books that I do read, they give me some incredible video ideas. So I'll be sharing both books that I have read and would recommend, but also books that are on my to-do list, I would recommend taking a sneak peek at. American Nuclear Society, ANS, also has a great selection of books on their bookstore, which you're welcome to check out when you get the chance. So let's start off with some of the books that I have read. Where do I read my books? Well, number one is my Kindle. I love this thing. I have this cool leather uh, case for it. And uh, yeah, it's just great, great e-reader. Uh, if you haven't had the chance to check this out, it's amazing. Uh, but also sometimes I like to just pick up a regular old school physical book just because the feel is different. Uh, it's nice to just scroll through the pages and refer to certain areas and just scan through. I just love scanning through physical books, which is really different from, you know, a Kindle e-reader. So I like to mix it up. But honestly, number one uh, book that I would recommend that I read this year is How to Stop a Climate Disaster by Bill Gates. So it's not specifically on nuclear, but it's 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 simply incredible. It's a, it's a really easy read. Uh, the terminology that Bill Gates uses is super easy. Uh, this, this book really paints a holistic view of climate change. So not only from an energy perspective, but also from other areas which produce emissions in our world. Uh, so you're pretty much getting a bird's eye view of what circumstances our world is currently in. It paints a picture of the socio-cultural, political, economic, and technical challenges that we're gonna face. Quite monstrous, what we're gonna have to face in the uh, in the upcoming years. However, Bill Gates is a proponent of nuclear energy and he does show support for nuclear energy throughout this book. So I highly recommend it. It's it's quite interesting. Some of the chapters he talks about nuclear power and a lot of the, you know, his, a lot of the efforts that his company is working on. I did make a video on this about net zero and Bill Gates's uh, book, uh, which you can find uh, in, in the description below. But yeah, highly recommend it. It's not very technical at all. So for those that are interested in learning about climate change and how nuclear is a solution, definitely check out that book. Uh, number two is Seeing the Light, The Case for Nuclear Power in the 21st Century. Uh, I read this book back in March and what I loved about this book is that it has really unique historical aspect. You know, although there is a bit of technicality, you definitely don't need, need to be a technical specialist to, to read this book. Uh, I love how the author really broke down uh, the Fukushima and Chernobyl events and their implications and lessons learned. So it's a very unique perspective that I found. Also, I love learning about nuclear reactor history. Okay, so uh, also how the political and economic circumstances really impacted how these technologies advanced, okay, for further development. So um, a really cool book, uh, check it out when you get the chance. And some of the books on my to read list. So I'll go through uh, some of the books that I would recommend that are on my to read list. Uh, and this is one of them. Uh, it's called Strange Glow, The Story of Radiation by Timothy J. Jor Jorgensen. And I simply just got the chance to skim through this book. From what I understand, it's a really good uh, blend of storytelling and science. If you wanna learn more about radiation and you wanna read a book that doesn't put you to sleep at night, um, like a textbook, uh, you know, this is not that. It's not a textbook, boring book. Uh, it's a great read. It's won several awards as well. So I really look forward to, to checking this out. All right, so next I would say is a book that I've got right here, uh, How to Drive a Nuclear Reactor by Colin Tucker. So it's quite an interesting perspective. Uh, Colin Tucker is actually a nuclear operator uh, who wrote this book. And what he's done is, is incredible. He's condensed all of the operations know-how into this book. It's super easy to read. I love it. It's categorized really nice. And you know, overall, he, what he does is he takes some really complex topics and he simplifies them. It's incredible. Yeah, I would really recommend checking this out. Next, I would say is Shortening the Grid. I've been recommended this book many, many times. And lastly, after Fukushima, what we know, now know, History of Nuclear Power and Radiation. Uh, that's another uh, book that I would recommend. All the books that I've recommended in this video uh, can be found in the description below. So check them out, all Amazon links. So let's talk about some decorative pieces. So if you wanna style, style your home, your room, uh, or you're simply your office space, I would say, uh, the Iron Man arc reactors is probably something that you should put on uh, put on your wish list. 
it's, it's around $130 and it's produced by several different manufacturers. So you've got to check out some of the reviews that you read um, on Amazon, but basically it's Iron Man's uh, reactor arc reactor that um, uh, it's just a great decorative piece that you can have at your home. It's USB powered, lights up. It's not, it's not too crazy expensive. Uh, so uh, overall, I think, you know, do a little bit of research as to which one uh, suits your needs, but it comes in this glass case. Also, the arc, the arc reactor is removable as well and can be placed in other parts of your room, so if you wish. Uh, so that's something that I would recommend as a cool mini small reactor, small modular reactor that I would say doesn't produce power, it's not radioactive, but something that's uh, decorative uh, that you can keep in your office or workplace or home. Uh, and lastly, let's talk about swag. So uh, I know you might be in search of some really cool nuclear type swag. Uh, and I think uh, one of the greatest resources for that is Generation Atomics uh, website, which has some great swag at apparel, which you can check out uh, their online store in the link below. Uh, what I really like, some of the some of the great items they have is Half-Life uh, t-shirt, looks cool, fashionable, and also some of their sweaters, uh, which you know have that uh, only you can do it, uh, the U as in uranium uh, themed. Uh, I love the theme. Uh, and also some, some of the polar bear type mugs are there as well. So this is a great shop if you're looking to do some holiday shopping. All right, friends, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope you have a great holiday season. Um, if you have any gift ideas that you'd like to talk about, uh, you know, make, maybe I can make a video for next holiday season in the comments below, please include them. Uh, hope you have a great holiday season, get some rest, enjoy the winter, uh, keep warm, and until next time, thank you, take care, bye.